Mm, I was just testing it. Show us those grooves, man. Festa don't need no music. Festa don't need no music. Festa don't need no music. <laughs> Let's have a seat. Hello, everybody. Hello, Buster. Hi. Cool. So, hi, everybody. Hi. Hi, Compass families. How are you? I hope you're doing good. Um, we're going to try this way. This is going to be a pre recorded kids' yoga class. Um, It'll be about a half hour long, and um, what I would like to see is if uh, maybe you can work with your kiddos in order to, uh, to calm them down. I think those of you that were on our live line last time, um, things, things got a little, uh, okay. a little out of hand. <laughs> so maybe, let's see how this thing's gonna work, and I cannot wait to hear from you guys. Any any suggestions, any critiques, any requests that you'd like to do for the next few days, days, weeks, weeks, weeks. weeks. It's going to be a few more weeks. Um, and so uh, um, I have a request for you, Buster. And I want to say, tell us if this was a good thing. Yeah, good. Or anyway, so we're going to have a yoga class today. Buster's going to be my uh, model, my demo. This is my son. And um, he doesn't always make that face, but when he, <laughs> does, when he does, he means it. All right, so let's come to a nice seated position. Good, okay, so Buster's in the full lotus position. I'm just simply in a crisscross applesauce, right? So whatever you're com most comfortable for your kids. Now, inhale your shoulders up towards the ears, and then roll them back and down. Good, so you notice how that straightens your spine, straightens your shoulders. Now you can smile. Inhale really deep into the nose. Open mouth, exhale. Let's do that again. Inhale really deep. Let your chest rise and your belly rise. That's it. And then exhale. Try that one more time. Inhale super deep into the nose. Great job. Inhale really deep into the nose. Exhaling out of the nose. Let's do that again. Inhale really deep into the nose. Exhale out of the nose. Try that one more time. Inhale. Seal the lips, inhale in through the nose. Exhale out of the nose. Take some time, curl the corners of your mouth up. That means smile, Buster. Smile, everybody. <laughs> We're supposed to be having fun here. Okay, guys, ready? Arms reach out and up into the sky. Imagine you're grabbing a hold of the sky with your hands. You can even reach up and grasp. Maybe make a little fist. Yeah, good job. And we're going to take three breaths like this. Two. Bend at the waist. Reach your hands forward, forward, fold. Hands come to the ground. Inhale, chest comes halfway up. Exhale and fold. Three breaths like that. Can your forehead touch the ground? Good. When you're ready, inhale, coming halfway up. And then let's exhale, come back out of it, sit up straight. Arms come out and up, inhale. Bring your left hand to your right knee, your right hand behind you. As you suck your belly in, Twist to the right. Look over your right shoulder. 
three breaths like this. Good. One more breath. Left hand rises up. Inhale. Right hand meets it. Exhale. Right hand to left knee. Left hand behind you. Short that belly in, Buster. Squeeze your rib cage together with your stomach muscles and then twist. Look over the left shoulder. Beautiful. Two more breaths. Looking so good. You're looking like a pro, dude. You guys too. Keep it up. One more breath. Reach that right arm up. Inhale. Left palm meets it. Come to your hands and knees. There you go. And give your feet a little bit of smack. And then tabletop pose. Here's where Buster comes in. Ready? Chin up, hips up, belly sides. What sound? Yeah. Moo. Moo. <laughs> Cow pose, right? Moo moo. 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 Exhale. Now what? Meow. Meow. Not moo. Not moo. Inhale, cow pose. Moo. Moo. Exhale. Meow. Cat pose. Meow. Five times. the toes, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Give me that woof woof. Bend one knee, bend the other knee. Straighten the hips come up towards the sky, downward facing dog, all the way. Down dog. Remember down dog? There you go. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, but I wanted you to see what, what we're gonna do. As I go like this, bend one knee, and then straighten that knee, bend the other knee. It helps you get those legs to the ground. Are your legs really tight right now? Yeah. Yeah. Then your heels come down towards the ground. There's been a lot of couch time recently, right? <laughs> so push into the palms of the hands. Spread your fingers out wider. Yeah, that's it. Look at your knee at your belly button. Three breaths. Three breaths. Two breaths. Look forward, bend your knees a lot. Hop, hop, hop. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Forward fold. Half lift, inhale, hands to your shins. Exhale and fold. Arms reach out and up. Inhale, sweeping them up towards the sky. Can you grab the ceiling? Can you grab the sky? And then hands come to your heart, exhale. Good work. Arms out and up, sweep it out. Swag eye down, forward fold. Half lifting, inhale, halfway up. Exhale and fold. Arms out and up. Inhale, reaching them up towards the sky. Hands come to your heart. Exhale. Remember sun salutation? Mm -hmm. Okay, you ready? You want to try it? Sure. Why don't you try to teach it? Yeah. <laughs> Hands up in the air. Yep. Stretch. Mm hmm. Swamp. Very nice. Can we do it once more? 
Okay, do it again. Hands up, reach for the clouds. Oh, Try wow. to grab them. Grab those clouds, okay. It just won't slide down. Halfway, also take a deep breath in. Back down, let it go. Down with freaking dog. Wolf, wolf. Wolf, wolf. Three breath. One. Sat tree pose. Right foot comes out. Good. Put you could put it here, here, or people to go here. Then put your hand to your heart. Okay. Look at something that's not moving. Now go up like a tree. Then go and wave like a wind is blowing on you. Put it back down. Not other feet. Do the same thing. You could put it here, here, or here. Put your hand in your on your heart. Then put them up like in the air. Then wave it like you didn't blow. Down. Excellent job. Do you remember Shiva Squat? You guys remember Shiva Squat, right? There you go. Hands to the heart. Now, walk to me. Duck walk. Duck walk. Quack, quack. 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 Elbows stay inside the legs. I'm not too good. <laughs> Start the dog being good. Now, can you back up? <laughs> oh, there we go. Good. All Jenga. Right. Jenga. All right. Come on up. Forward fold. Half lifting. Inhale. Exhale and fold. Out and up with those arms. Reaching up towards the sky. Inhaling. Hands come to your heart. Exhale. Arms out and up. Inhale. Swat dive down. Forward fold. Half lifting, hands to the shins or to the ground. Plant your hands on the ground, hop back all the way to plank pose. Yeah, lower down to the belly. Untuck the toes. Give those feet a little bit of a smack. Come up to cobra pose. Now, come into upward facing dog by pulling those knees off the ground. Pushing, yeah, 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 look up, look up, look up. Woo! Woo, woo! One more breath. Lower down, downward facing dog. Good job, three breaths. Can those heels come down towards the ground? No. No. <laughs> I can do this if I want to. Oh, that's just very odd. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> three breaths. Two breaths. And one breath. Look all the way forward. Bend your knees a lot, come to the toes. Hop forward, one hop. Rib it, rib it. Ribbon forward fold. Half lifting, inhale. Exhale and fold. Arms out and up, inhale. Reach them up towards the sky. Hands come to your heart. Arms out and up, inhale. Grab your hands. Your pinkies are pointing up towards the sky. Maybe you can even poke up the clouds, right? Poke the clouds. Poke it, poke it. Okay, remember Banana Kanasana? Yeah, that's it. 
bend in one direction. Can your feet come together? There you go. Good. So you inhale and then pull yourself to the side. So we get this little part of our rib cage starts to open up and that helps us to breathe even deeper, okay? Parents, you could be doing this. One more breath. All right, come up to center, inhale. Swan dive down, like a bird. Forward fold. Half lifting, inhale. All right, exhale and pull. Arms up and up, inhale, reach up towards the sky. Interlace your fingers, interlace your fingers, feet come together. Banana Kanasana on the other side. Good job. So you inhale, pull those fingers even further. Side bend, all along the side of the body, opening up our sides, our ribs, to help us breathe even deeper. One more breath. And then inhale, come up to center. Let's swan dive down, forward fold. Half lifting, inhale. Exhale and fold. Arms out and up, inhale, reaching them up towards the sky. Good, hands come to your heart center. Feet are hip width apart. Ready for crow pose? Yeah. Called Patasana. Patasana is crow pose. means crow in the language of Sanskrit. So feet come out about hips width apart. Swan dive down. Good. Half lift, inhale. Walk your hands forward, bend your knees. Squeeze, now look, look, lift one foot, lift the other foot, or like Buster did, lift both feet. Oh my gosh, this just did. That's fine. So parents, if you're worried about falling on the faces, um, you can just put a pillow or a blanket, rolled up blanket in front of you. Buster, demonstrate falling. See, how does that work? Okay, go ahead and go back into crow pose. Let's see. But I've got this out here. Yeah, you got it. Like a demo. So, okay, parents, even if you're going to try it with them, you can always put that pillow in front of you and like, it takes away a little bit of the scariness. Beautiful. Five breaths. Four breaths. Oof. Three breaths. <laughs> oh my goodness, three breaths. Nine breaths. Just kidding, one. <laughs> All right, we're on our seats anyway. Bring it up. Go ahead and bring up your, your feet. Oh, let's do butterfly pose. Okay. Feet come together. Knees fall apart. So if you're very tight in the hips, um, you can always find a nice blanket or roll up blanket or a pillow and sit right on it, but you don't need to. <laughs> nah. I do, because I'm old. And my leg is it's the only thing that's tight that I know of. Yeah, not your brain? Yeah. That, that's what we're not going to do. Let's not be tight in our brain, okay? <laughs> that's part of what our yoga classes are about um, for all of you, is that... Just to meditate. Well, it's to get our minds to stop moving so much, right? And, uh, and in our yoga practice, the stretching of the body helps us stretch our mind. Mm -hmm. So we become flexible both in our body and in our thinking. And uh, I think we could all use a lot of that right now. So show me your wings flapping. Flap, flap. Flap, flap. Is that what butterflies sound like? Flap, no, I don't flap. know what they sound like. Okay. Chest don't... reaches up, right? Keep that back as straight as possible. Flap. And then start to fold, bending over. A little bit deeper. Can your chin touch your toes? Can you smell your toes? Actually, no, I can't. <laughs> I try. That's funny, but I can. Are your hips hurt? No, I can. It's tight, also. That's why we're stretching here. Good okay, job. Papa. Five breaths like this in our butterfly pose. It's actually called Supta Bhano Kanasana, which means. I'm sorry, just Bhano Kanasana. It, which means bound angle pose. Our feet are bound and our legs are at an angle as we pull forward. One more breath. Reach your chest forward, inhale. Roll out of it, exhale. Hands to the knees, come in, squeeze in. Like you're scared. Like you're scared? Mm. I thought it was like, give yourself 
a big old hug. And he's like this. You can do that too. It's a good thing. Left foot comes out. Oh. Uh-oh. Here we go, Buster. Lift up that right leg. Get that ankle moving in one direction and the other. Grab the toes with your right hand. Pull back. Oh. All right, great job. Straighten that leg. Lift it as high as you can. Pull against the toes. Can that knee go straight? Or no. Comes towards straight. Hamstrings are tight. Back of the legs. Those are called hamstrings. All right, one breath. And then cross that leg across the body. Bring your right arm underneath. Your left arm underneath. Pull in. Rock side to side. Rock that baby, right? Pull the toes back. And uh, parents, pretend this is your kids, also parents. Yes, good idea. They should be doing it too. Is that what you're telling them? Cool. Do it. Do it. Parents. Do it, Play. please. Play. Play, right? Let's not be so serious. Maybe the arms come around. This is where I'm going to stay. Buster's going to bring his leg over his head. It's been a while, so I might not. Oh, there you go. Oh. <laughs> like I said, it's been a long time. I did this. Just stuff. keep trying. <laughs> Without forcing it. Yeah. It's okay. We'll play some more. This is the corpses. Cool. That's pretty good. All right, shift it out. Other foot. Shake it up. Shake it up. As they say, shake it like a Polaroid picture. You don't even know what that is. No, but shake it off. Oh, shake it off. That's that song, right? Yeah, shake it off. Uh, all right, roll that, roll that ankle. Roll the ankle the other way. Grab a hold of those toes. Straighten that leg. Pull it back. Straighten. We're preparing for it. Mm -hmm. Okay? So just kind of like do that. Right, left arm underneath. You could do this. Oh, you can totally go over your shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> are you going to bring that foot over your head? Remember the two sides of your body are very different. Let's see you do that. First. Like this. Oh, there you go. Good job. Like this one can't, but this one can. Yeah, it's very different, but mine. Got it. Try it one more time. Okay. Okay. Now I can't do it. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I was just saw it once. So, feet come out. <clears throat> feet come out, pull the toes back. Bring your hands in front of you. Everybody come down to the back. <clears throat> Knees into the chest. Hands to the knees, squeeze back, rock side to side on your lower back. Massage out your back. A ball will help it also. A what? A ball, you, if you, you could add a ball underneath your back so then you can move that ball around. Yeah, <clears throat> to massage out your back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good thought. Now bring your hands below the knees. Bend the knees, chin comes to your chest, now let's rock forwards and backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards and backwards one more time. And then cross your ankles, push yourself back, lower down. Woof, woof. Woof, woof, woof. Look forward between your hands, everybody. Bend your knees a lot, come up to your toes, come to a seat. Yeah, good job. Oh, you can just sit down. Arms up. Lower down. <sighs> knees into the chest. Hands to the knees. Lower your feet. Squeeze the knees in. Bring your hands to the ground. Push into the ground. And then lift your hips up towards the sky. Lift up, lift up. Higher, higher, higher. And then hands come below you. Interlace your fingers, pull the knuckles towards your knees, squeeze the knees in a little bit tighter. Yeah, so you feel it in here now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good job. Nice bridge. Oh, you can do this. 
or you can go into full wheel. Beautiful wheel, Buster. Three, two, lower down to the top of the head, roll out of it safely, knees into the chest, good job. Rock side to side, arms out from the shoulders, palms facing down, knees still up in the chest. Lower your knees to the right as you look over your left fingertips. There you go. So you're twisting. Closing your eyes. Closing your eyes now. Knees even closer into the chest. There it is. Great job. For three breaths. Just starting to calm our minds, starting to calm our bodies. Taking our time, getting ready for our resting pose. Three more breaths, good. Keep breathing. Two. And one, knees come into the chest. Gaze towards the ceiling. Now exhale, lower your knees to the left. Opposite direction, looking over the right fingertips. Beautiful job. Knees come closer to the chest. Feel how that twist happens a little bit deeper. And you're going to take three breaths. Two. Inhale, bring your knees up to center. Gaze to center, hands to the knees. Give yourself one final hug. Squeeze in, squeeze in. And then when you're ready, extend your feet straight out across the mat. Shavasana pose. Feet are, feet are mats width apart. Palms up towards the ceiling. There you go. And holding here. Calming yourself down. Allowing yourself to relax and smile. And parents, with the kiddos, I usually <clears throat> I usually give them about three or four minutes like this. Um, if, uh, if you can get three or four minutes of them to calmly, calmly lay down, um, I think you're gonna find an incredible amount of relief for them and for you. The, the word yoga means to unite or to bind things in our practice today, what we are binding is connection with the body, with the breath, and that allows us, all of us, to calm our minds, to stop and just see things, um, see things clearly. And uh, this is a practice, it's a lifetime practice, so if there's ever issues where the Shavasana doesn't work for your child, okay, so what? Next time, right? No big deal. So stay here for as long as you'd like. If you're ready, you can inhale, bring your knees into your chest, hands to the knees, rock yourself side to side, and then if you're ready, you can come to a seat facing me. Okay. Hands to the heart. Do you want to lead us? Hand to your No, hand to your mouth. May your words be kind. May your words be kind. Wait, no, first. May your words be kind. Hands to the heart. May May your May your thoughts be true. May your thoughts be true. May your thoughts be true. Hands to your heart. 
May your heart be free. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you, my sister. Help you. <laughs> Parents, I would love to hear if uh, if your kids could if your kids made it through the practice, um, <clears throat> or, if it, or if they had a hard time. Um, we're just testing out different things in this time. Um, and, and please do, 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 do tell us if your kids did, did help. Yes. Namaste. Woo! Good job, Buster. Peace. <laughs>